higher-end restaurants, they tend not to describe food as fresh. They don't describe it as tasty, they don't describe it as ripe, because the customers in the high-end restaurants expect it to be those things. In oh. fact, in, in posh restaurants, they tend to use kind of sexy terminology. So if food is sort of sensuous or, or silky. Uh, they use language like that. Nude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Careful, nude aubergine. We got um, a topless chicken and we put it under the grill. <laughs> Ooh, it's been naughty. This sandwich yeah. will wank you off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that's too sexy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> We've all got it. We've all got it. <laughs> okay, moving on. In posh restaurants, they use a completely different language. And here is the bizarre thing. People enjoy their food more with heavy cutlery. So there's a guy called Charles Michel, and he is the chef in residence at Oxford University's Crossmodal Research Laboratory. So what they are researching is how our different senses modulate any appreciation of uh, flavour. And uh, so he gave everybody exactly the same meal. And people who used heavy cutlery were willing to pay 15% more for their food. It is one of the most bizarre things. Yeah. Was there any point where the fork became too heavy? Because I reckon there is, like, a, that is a scale that actually, yeah. by the time you've got, like, a garden fork, yeah. people are then refusing to pay again. What you might have done now inadvertently is inspired cheap restaurants to glue their forks to the table. <laughs> to get the illusion. Or glue two forks together, thereby doubling the weight. Yeah. <laughs> One of the ways that uh, restaurants trick you into spending a bit more money... Do anybody know? Hypnotism. What? Hypnotism. <laughs> Hypnotism. Would you like the veal? <laughs> I mean, I would. I'd certainly order it after Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, one of the things they do is they remove the pound sign from menus. Oh, yeah. Um, so they did a study at Cornell University, and if it just has the numbers, somehow we don't associate that with the true cost of something. Yeah, you think it might just be 2.4 ants or something? <laughs> Our brain kind of doesn't turn that into dollars or pounds. If you put $20, then you suddenly think about the price. But if you just have the number, subconsciously, we don't think about the cost of things. Has anybody ever been to a restaurant with a ladies' menu? A ladies' menu? A ladies' menu. I've never been into the ladies in a restaurant. <laughs> Are they doing food in there? Because I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, so it's a menu with no prices on whatsoever. And, uh, <gasps> because it... the bitch ain't paying? Because... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was that the boy was paying for it, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you shocked? I'm really shocked. But Men should have a revolution! <laughs>